Freddy Beard. I'm the Senior Residential Project Manager for Structal Building Systems. Currently this is what we're working on is our initial tiny home shell. We invited the homeowner down and he's participating in the construction. We've completed the track and we have the panels fabricated and we're in the process of installing the initial panels. This home will be very extremely energy efficient and airtight in that we use everything not only well caulked, even the, the extrusions that we use are thermally broken. And um, as we go along, we'll explain about the environmental benefits. You know, we use a, a steel, it's a G90, and it's galvanized and painted and coated for a lifetime finish. Now, to many of our clients, green is very important. Frankly, green is also important as it relates to dollars. If you cannot afford the energy bill, then you have to sacrifice something. And unfortunately, sometimes those choices are hard. We're green when we put this panel together like this. We're giving you a vapor barrier, hydrophobic air barrier, insulation, and yes, it's plastic. However, we have difficulty recycling it because it's 90% air. The air is what actually gives expanded polystyrene its insulating properties. As it does not rely on chemicals that off-gas and, and deteriorate over time. And for those who are looking into the LEADS programs and stuff like that, we have assistance available that documents the energy savings. Obviously, taking an SUV and turning it into a home and eliminating an SUV and hydrocarbons or flooring just makes sense. So, of course, we don't want to bore you, but please feel free to contact us and I will help you when you're working on your lead score or your green rating, or more importantly, to me personally, your energy savings. We have in existence net zero homes that were truly affordable. Now we're moving into the tiny home shell market and we're integrating our techniques that we've learned over the years in the commercial, residential, and the modular room feel. As previously shown, we've installed our base track with the thermal extrusion in it and noted that this edge was a little lower. This goes to the inside. It has a natural tilt. Any moisture that penetrates, we have a weep hole approximately every four inches. Now we're coming close to reaching where we're going to put our uh, thermal top track. And in this case, we have a 312 pitch and we actually have a thermal broke extrusion that the panel will attach to. You will see that later when we start with the roof installation with the screws going into the pattern. Our, our clients reached out to us and through working with them, they gradually produced an elevation and a set of floor plans that we converted into a panel drawing. We generated panel cut sheets, identifying where the cuts were going on the panel before we install them. And to determine which panels to maximize efficiency, I consulted our engineered systems, our span charts, and determined that four inch, we, could, we modified the thickness of the foam to achieve the energy ratings and the efficiency that the client was looking for. So now you have your energy efficient home. It is tight, 
your ears pop when you do the blower door test. What good is it if you can't live in the home? So, allergy preventive, indoor air quality, all contained within this cube. And that we recommend, and on our housing packages, send out an energy recover ventilator. So, when you, which some of us are, are sensitive to chemicals, we effectively are producing zero emissions on the interior of your home. We're sealing out the exterior system and isolating you from noise pollution. And we have 26 gauge steel, which is resistance to electromagnetic magnetic, uh, forces. All which are important to someone at some time. When you have this, and you live in a wildfire area. This is a flame, a burn rating of five. Zero is concrete. track meaning that there's a thermal thermal break between the uh, extrusion and the fixture. We're ready. We've set our initial panel and we're ready now to install the first gable end panel going in this direction and you will see it goes together easily once it's prepared properly. This one is perfect. Go ahead and put your screw here. How are you up there? You plumb? Okay. Now that we have our first panels locked in and it's secure, we'll bring in the other end. And you can notice this is, has the male end that will interlock, which will interlock in the panel. is engaged in the bottom the trailer has a little bounce to it so it's bouncing back you know give me that canopy so as in our home install video you'll notice that occasionally we will have to work it in in a short wrap at the top will engage the foam since our foam, since our foam goes all the way under the, the female end, it tends to be tight, and that's where you get that classic snap action, which is desirable with the addition of the screws in the top track. We've eliminated virtually the possibility of the track or the panel ever lifting up from the foundation, or in this case, the trailer frame. Now that we 
have our first two corner panels up. The next panel will require a cut to adapt to the shape of the wheel well, whichever model you have. And what we've done is we've taken a square to line up the edge of this 4 by 8 sheet of um, styrene, which would mimic the actual sizes of a, a one of our panels. As taking our template that we just made using this 4x8 sheet, we're going to transfer that to the panel now. And then we'll come back in and we'll take a jigsaw with a shallow blade and make this cut. And we'll make the same mark on the opposite side. As you can see, we've got our first pair of root panels up now. And we've actually put the sealant into the reservoir so that when we engage these panels, we have an airtight and a watertight seal. In this application, we're using these structural members on top and bottom to form its own natural truss. Thermal broke extrusions, we have sealing up here, and we're ready to click and roll. Finally putting the windows in, we're about ready to go down the road. You'll notice that the black stripe there is our thermal broke extrusion. And you can hear them in the background that they're, they're adjusting it just to so that we get an extra tight fit. I hope y'all have enjoyed a tiny home build here as much as we have. Met some wonderful people, had some interesting experiences, and learned and um, going to incorporate these ideas into our future homes and we're going to send affordable safe living quarters to the masses to the people that need it and to you our friends